welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. All right, here we go. First time going over the new bridge. Waiting for this for over three years. Oh, 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 oh my heart's pounding. I can feel it in my chest. Oh, 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 my heart's pounding. I can feel it in my chest. Oh, 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 look at this. Here we go. Here we go. Spit up. That was so funny. I can't believe it. I, I spit my water out. I, I don't want to turn the wrong earphones. You're going to oh. get livid at me. Dude, there's, there's the so... Snow up. I can't hear myself. You can't hear yourself? No. Am I, is my mic on? Yeah, it's on. No, Gene. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. hello. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, Twisting the wrong line. You want to know something yesterday? What? I had Top Dog and Charo in here. We'll get to that, obviously, a little bit later. Yeah. 30 minutes into talking to them... <laughs> I play something for them to watch, and my dad goes, I can't hear it. <laughs> and I go, you can't hear it? And he goes, no. And I go, well, can you hear me right now? And he goes, no. Oh, my God. He never time. plugged them in. No, they were oh, unplugged. Oh, oh, God. He just sat with headphones on, unplugged. Just not even. And I was like, didn't it occur to you that there was no sound coming through? No. Nah. It's so funny, because they're so accustomed to whatever is happening. Like, they just, you know, it's kind of like how Bitsy is. Yeah, like if you put like a towel on her head, she just lets it stay there. I want to I want to give credit for that song. That was oh my Look God. at the river by Matt Mercer. That was so, so funny the way she he, spit out. I I took a sip of water, and then I had to spit it back into the Fiji yeah. bottle. That was so funny. That was great. the The composition of the dad boner was it was outstanding. Yeah, that his was enthusiasm stuff. was just ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> that guy. Look, look at the, the river. river. He's so excited <laughs> about driving on a fucking bridge. Somebody sent in an anti dad boner. We're supposed to play that little. Oh goodness! There's a lot to talk about. I mean, we uh, had my parents here for five days. It was a whirlwind uh, situation, a it's whirlwind weekend. Not a whirlwind. It's a whirlwind. It was a blessing in the skies. Wow! It was. Uh, it was artistic. It was artistic. <laughs> <laughs> it was voluptuous. Um, yeah, listen, or oh, listeners, so welcome to all our new listeners. Welcome to your mom's house. Mom cash. <laughs> and um, there's a lot to go over today. Oh my God. Last few weeks have been big weeks on the show because we had Martin Riese, uh, the water sommelier. The water sommelier. That episode got a lot of traction. A lot of people uh, really interested in, in, uh, uh, in what he had to say. I and, haven't touched our tap water since. I mean, our- I've been, I've been Hydra or whatever buying water called. differently yeah. since that since that day. Yeah, I've been buying Fiji water for us. I know, but also even when in restaurants, I'll say what type of water, and the guy even yesterday he goes, "We have triple purified, blah blah blah," Mm-mm. or we have this spring water. I go bring me the spring water. Yeah, I've so been ordering it, that, it too. It was a life changing experience. And then uh, Mr. Joe Rogan came last week, mm-hmm. and that was a fun time. That was that was uh, really fun. Yeah, and we got him to drink the Hungarian water. Yeah, he liked it. 
pretty pretty good stuff. That was super fun. Um, okay, well, uh, why don't we uh, <laughs> why don't we start the show and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah? Okay, Eugene, let's 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 do our opening clip and get yes! going. Yes, yes. It's Monday, like the river. <laughs> Sophie Tanner just celebrated her second wedding anniversary oh this week. Two years ago, her poor dad walked her down the aisle in public and gave his daughter away to herself. Oh in what's called sologamy, <laughs> Sophie Tanner married herself. This shit is big time! Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother to this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. So uh, a whole new world just opened up to mm, us, mm, marrying mm. yourself. I, me, wed. Why are more women choosing to marry themselves? Oh, boy. Uh, they have bad personalities? Yeah, I'm thinking um, I'm thinking they're called- I can think of a few reasons. Sad. Yeah. Lonely. Because you need to look in the mirror and change things, all in, inside and out. What do you mean, why are they choosing to marry- <laughs> If someone's not choosing Ugh. to marry you, then you know. But here's the thing: I just you got problems, yo. Yeah, I think I think it, you just stay single, right? If you're like, hey, I'm not into marriage, which is totally valid. But they want to celebrate being single. Oh, like I'm. You know what that's like? Um, that's like uh, that's like the girls are like, I'm happy being single. I'm proud being. You're like, yeah. no, you're not. not if really. you're happy, you just you just are. You don't have to tell people, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, and they want it to be. They're saying like these societal norms are unfair and or just you know not recognizing right. that that's something to celebrate in other words we celebrate alone. you being with somebody else but what about celebrating me not being with somebody else mm -hmm. she said everyone celebrates getting together with someone and becoming married but there's no milestone in society that celebrates escaping something awful <laughs> or returning to your own happiness and Oof. contentment ouch yeah well escaping something awful that is that what she thinks marriage is like i wonder what or maybe awful. she escaped a bad relationship and she oh. wants to celebrate that then that's a different story. That and should be then, a different party altogether. Yeah, though. it's not still a still not a wedding. Salagami. Erica Anderson, who of course lives in Brooklyn, also <laughs> married herself. Of course. Why, I think it's hard not to adopt whatever society's messages are. And I certainly think that one of the messages is you are not enough if you are not with someone else. Okay. Yeah. Or you could just ignore societal messages and not have to you do know, something she, like that. Um, she seemed cute enough right yeah i'm sure she's fine yeah it just must be once you talk to her you're like oh god yeah she's a nightmare why don't you fucking marry yourself and then she goes <laughs> i will i think i will yeah i think i will i don't know man yeah i don't know about yeah. even acting like this is a good thing i don't know i think then I, again i don't it, care i don't give a shit the thing is that i think they want the um the celebration of a wedding and like they want to wear the dress and stuff like yeah. i totally get that in which case, isn't that kind of like a quinceanera or like a coming out party? Yeah. Can they, can we call it something else, like marrying yourself? It's kind of sad, right? So would you rather marry yourself or... Ask them, will you ever date your mom? <laughs> oh my God, date your mom. I'd marry myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'd stay alone and sad my whole life and date my mom. It's just like the gays. What would you do? Uh, of course I would marry myself. Yeah. Over dating my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, that's so crazy. I don't know. I mean, look, I, I feel like I've made fun of so many of these people, yeah. and then you get to know why. I know, I, and then you're always like, oh, okay, well, she but was also abused or whatever. Well, yeah, but then... just don't do this. No, that's no. what I would say too. I think that she's probably a nice lady, <laughs> and if you talk to her, you'd be like, I understand, but also, could you just not do this? You not be annoying, yeah. and also too, do you have to divorce yourself? Like, does she have to make this legal? Right. What are the? Because this isn't legal to begin with, right? It's silly. This is not it's, recognized. It's nonsense. You can't walk in and go, are you single or married? And be like, I'm married. It's not. Who are you married to? I'm married to me. Yeah, it's, it's stupid. Uh, you know what someone would say to you? Stop fucking around. Stop being mentally ill. Yeah. Stop being crazy. Stop being crazy. Like, just like in France, they let you marry dead people. Hmm. 
which is like not. It's also stupid. No point. Yeah. Yeah. I want Tanner says you can my be dog. more lonely in a relationship that's not functioning I'm than sure. just being on your own. And a lot of people don't realize that. No. You can waste your life waiting for the one when you are the one yourself. Oh, boy. That's yeah. Sad. I mean, these are just. You I know. think, you know, these people, they need to find therapists. Yeah. You need to find your therapist. You're not you're not fooling anyone, <laughs> first of all, you know. I'm I'm too strong. I'm a strong woman. That's why that's why men can't handle me. I'm a strong woman. Like, yeah. No, you're just you're annoying. Nobody likes you. There's always that thing. I do feel like it comes from women almost exclusively, <laughs> you know, not yeah. to be Which unfair. Part? But, what? Um the can't handle me yes. mentality. I have guys, not, I yeah. never hear guys no. say, she couldn't handle me, bro. <laughs> like, guys never say that. The women, a lot of women who are crazy yeah. will say stuff like, you just can't handle my success or like, yeah. that I, my personality or I, I'm too successful, I'm yeah. too big. Like, that's I'm not too, why. I'm too much of this. Like, he's I'm too or, successful. I've you know, I think one. he needs a girl. I'm a woman. Right. Stuff like that. Well, that you're yeah. like, mm, that's all code for you need you need help. Yeah. You're, I remember I annoying. went out with this girl a couple of times in college. Yeah. And then I, I blew her off. And then wow. months later, you know, I ran into her and. She had this really snappy, like she was, she acted like everything was cool. And mm. then she was like, uh, have you found a girl? Because uh, I know you like girls, like not, <laughs> young girls and not women. And I just wanted to be like, look, you're built like a fucking linebacker. Like that's <laughs> that's why we didn't go out again. Is that why? Yeah, I just wasn't attracted to it. Phys- it was a physical. Yeah. So you, so you, you thought maybe it could work and then you got to look at her and you were like, nah. I just, no, I went out, we had dinner. Uh, and we had drinks. Right. And you go like, this is a interesting person and everything, but I'm not attracted to you. What are you supposed to do? There's not, nothing, you can't force. You can't force being attracted See, to and someone. that's the part that sucks about dating is that you can't just tell somebody the oh, truth. Yeah. Like, hey, yeah. dude, you know what? I'm just not feeling There's you. There's no chemistry. There's no, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm like, I could have conversations with her because she was really intelligent. It was fun to talk to her. Right. I enjoyed it, but like, I'm not into you in that way. What was their tit situation? It was like a small medium situation. So they weren't hungry, but they weren't they super weren't hungry, no. Full. They were enough. Yeah, but like, I just, you, you need know. them fat and sloppy. Yeah. I mean, I mean see, big, big slops. Big milk drops. Big G cups. <laughs> I want to hang, I want to put a, a bucket under those tits. Let them just drip all night. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. I've had that too. Like um, when I was dating people back before Friendster was around, when yeah. you and I started dating. Yeah. And I always found it hard to tell somebody that, like, you know what, bro, it's just not like I can't say that. I don't I, feel I, it. That's I'm a horrible conversation to have. I can't have that. Well, because they'll always interpret it as like I'm not enough, which of course, and it's a normal reaction to be like, am I not enough? Am yeah. I not cool enough for this person? Am I not attractive? Am I too this? Too yeah. that? And you're like, no, dude, they could be a fucking loser. And yeah. they just did you a huge favor by of course, rejecting you, bro. Of course. Like, yeah, it's, but marrying yourself, that's, <clears throat> isn't that like a public declaration of sadness? Like, well, I'm here's the another. This person? Is, no, this is another <laughs> level. Um, this is another level. And also, this lady's sort of a dead ringer for you, too. Oh, fuck. I'm off. serious. I hate you. I'm serious. Okay, here we go. San Diego, California. I love her outfit, though. And I'm dating a train depot. Oh, boy. Oh boy! Did you hear what she said? She's marrying a train. Yeah, well, a, a train former? depot. A train depot. The yeah. train station, essentially. Mm-hmm. But I noticed that her gear is a lot like <laughs> what you would wear. Her I mean, gear is exactly has, what she, I want. You love her fanny. Pack. I love her fanny. Pack, this yeah. looks like a onesie. Hell yeah, dude! She has similar cans, right? Yep. Do you think that she's wearing a good bra or no? Check, 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 check. No, no. She needs to come with me to Nordstrom and get and get fitted. But I like her style. I like where she's going in life. Yeah. I almost have more respect for her marrying the train station. Yeah. Just because it's it's something outside of yourself. As it's opposed a little, to marrying yourself. Yeah, yeah, it's very narcissistic and solipsistic to mm-hmm. be like, I love me, 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 me. Then you're yeah. you're in if you're if you're all about you your whole life, you're gonna be miserable. Yeah. At least she's into the train station. I mean, for our listeners, could you describe her? <laughs> B- besides saying you with dark hair. <laughs> can you can you describe her? Yeah, totally. Me. Is she's me. She's my twin. Yeah. Brunette, she's okay. She's a little bit of what you would call dumpy. Yeah, that's a dumpy look. Uh, like it's like a mechanics outfit, but pink. <laughs> she's not wearing a bra at all, so they're really low and hangy. <laughs> yeah, and then she's got like an awesome fanny pack. It's black. Yeah, just kind of. She looks like Droopy Dog. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but whatever, dude. Awesome. She's happy. <laughs> look at those tits, man. Here as the Santa Fe train depot. 
and uh -huh. I know her as oh, it's she's a lesbian my too. My friend, my life partner, mm -hmm. my wife, okay. Daedra Santa Fe. Daedra gave her a name. But she has to share her wife with all these people. Doesn't that upset her? It doesn't seem like she's that upset. Uh, look, this thing has a water bottle in it. <laughs> I know this is her. Because they should tits. be like up around this area, right? If Some, they have a good bra. Yeah. Like a just higher And up. that's all that is, is a lack of a bra, uh, the yeah. right size. Yeah. I mean, she has something on. I see it here, right? <laughs> Could be. No, I think it might be the wire. Oh, right. That they, they put a lot. So they're, they're just whatever. sitting right now. Just hanging. Wow. Dude, I don't know. I mean, look. Wouldn't that be better for her back to wear a good it's one? It's better for everybody. It's yeah. actually better for all of society if she does, because we don't want to look yeah. at it. It's like Oof. that woman we saw at the restaurant. Yeah. Uh, there was a lady that walked into the restaurant we were dining at who had hangers just yeah, like this. They were they were lower though. They were down here <laughs> near the waist. She has by uh, the way, this is all buttons the whole. Oh, uh, bro, it's such a, it's all bad. And but that lady was wearing like a lycra top in the restaurant. That was crazy. So the fabric is very unforgiving. Yeah, it shows your flaws. And quite a so bit. the tits had picked up momentum, like you yeah. know when they hit each other, they go in circles and they hit each other. And then she sat down, and then we all took turns getting up to go to the bathroom. To try to, but they were under the table. Yeah, that's, that's the, the problem. thing. They were sitting <laughs> under the table. Imagine that. You're at a table, and some ladies' tits are sitting underneath the yeah. table. That's where they were. And can I tell you, as somebody who, when I take my bra off, this is what my tits look like now, more or less. No, but don't. I wear bras, dude, because I don't want to yeah. present myself like this, like a crazy person. We've been together. Oh, boy. Since... <laughs> the end of the summer, 2015. Oh, okay. I realized I was in love. Look at her. When I had trouble staying away from her. Uh huh. When I had to go home, I hated it. When I had to go home. I really could see you wearing that. Yeah, that she's I wearing. could too. Yeah. No, I'm. I feel like you've worn versions of that. Probably. I actually pointed out an outfit to your mother yesterday, identical to that at Nordstrom. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Um, you think she's mentally ill? Yeah. Severely, but at least again, this is an externalization of of one's stuff. Mm. You know what I mean? Like at least give your love to something or someone. A building. A an external. It's. Oh boy, she's kissing it. She's touching the walls now. I like how she's mic'd and we you pick up yeah the audio only from the camera. <laughs> <laughs> really good job, guys. I love looking out at the other buildings. We yeah. watched, we watched uh, that building being built together. Oh. Oh, so her and the building watch buildings. Yeah. Yeah, she's not it's, doing so it's well. It's their hobby. <laughs> if they don't understand why I'm all ass, I don't understand why they're, why they have to love each other. But I respect them and I hope no, the world respects me. Mm. All right. Good luck. Mm. Mm. There should be mutual respect for, I, I guess so. <laughs> I guess that uh, poses the ultimate question. Marry yourself, marry, marry a building, <laughs> marry your mom. Uh, uh, fuck. I'd have to choose a... Uh, fuck. God, that's tough. Yeah. i choose a building. Really? Yeah, because then you can be like, hey, at least you're technically married to something. If it's a really beautiful... Like, there are beautiful buildings. Yeah. And, then, and the environment's fun to go to. Yeah. I would stay married to a building for yeah, a while. Yeah, me too. Like, the Empire State Building's super cool. Yeah. That's a good building. Would they let you marry it? Uh, who cares? There's so many suitors. <laughs> yeah. Notre Dame. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. I remember asking where the Notre Dame was when I, to a local policeman. Yeah. I got off a subway, and I it was like, I learned that I think it was like, où est le Notre Dame? Oh, that's good. And he went, uh, well, and I was like, I just nodded the whole time. And at the end, he was like, huh? There you go. Thank you, sir. Don't ask. Merci. Merci buckets. Merci buckets, man. Um, what would you do? You marry a building? Or would you marry yourself? Nah, I'd marry a building for a while. Like I said, if it was a really nice building. And I like the area. Yeah. Because I can go to the same place Wait, for a while. What if we just married this house? That would be way easy. Yeah. Yeah, dude. And you, you don't have to go anywhere. You go anywhere. You hang out with your spouse all the time. What about this level? You marry your mom. Dating? Oh boy. Twenty-one-year-old Sako Aruno of Osaka works in a supermarket and sings in a J-pop band. His girlfriend's name is Manaka. Oh, no. She's sixteen. They're a love plus couple. 
Here, Saku slips into the role of a schoolboy and meets the virtual Manaka while playing the game. So yeah. it's a uh, yeah. simulation dating. Mm -hmm. Like that movie. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've seen that, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Uh, isn't that Joaquin? I forget everything. I pretended I was the Oof. new kid at school yeah. and decided to check out the tennis team. Okay. When I first saw Manaka, she was tending the grounds and we had a chat. That's how our relationship started. Uh -huh. Since then, we've become closer and closer. Oh, well, what's your fucking pronoun? Because <laughs> it doesn't seem to be the one I thought it was. <laughs> yeah, what pronoun is, is they? They Are is, they? Uh, you know. Teeth. Yeah. What's your pronoun? They got teeth pronoun. Look at yeah. those toothuses. <laughs> Damn. Really, really kind of towing that line of pronouns. Sako Aruno spends about three hours a day with his virtual his. girlfriend. Yeah. She's always with him because oh, Love boy. Plus runs on Nintendo DS, a mobile emulator. Sako once had a real girlfriend too, but not for long. Now yeah. he's devoted to Manaka alone. Devoted. I love when they say shit like that, like someone's devoted to their car that they are having sex with or a video game. <laughs> he is though. I know. That's a, But the problem with... But is this healthy? No, it's not. Because it's, it's just going to further his isolation. Does he come on it? I'm sure he yeah, loads. He makes her do stuff. You think so? All the time. Just jizzes on the screen? Yeah. Yeah, that thing's covered. You think so? Coated. You got to yeah, do it dude. somewhere. Yeah, yeah. No, it's disgusting. That's it's the disgusting. real question. Where are you getting that nut? <laughs> I mean, I can get it on a building. But right. if you cover your keys, you could get a real problem. It could seep into all those little right. creases, you know? Well, one would wonder about people's iPhones. Isn't that where everyone's watching their porn anyways? Oh, yeah. Everyone's but do people iPhone. jizz on their iPhone? I mean, some people, I'm sure Well, you do. jizz on your hand, and then you touch your iPhone. Now there's jizz on your iPhone. No, come on. Yeah. You don't jizz on your hand. Uh, you don't? No. Where does it go? On your stomach or on, a, <laughs> you know, your shirts or something. I'll lay My out, shirts? Yeah, I'll lay out your clothes and jizz on that. <laughs> When you're gone. Oh. Well, I don't care. It's not mine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't care. No. It's glass all over it. No. <laughs> glass. Yeah, it feels good. Man, this is sad. But, I, oh, man. Yeah. I mean, it bums me out, but then I know how lonely some people are, and, and this is like their only outlet. I know. You know? Then you're like, oh, fuck. Just meet a person. Yeah. Can you swipe right on someone on Tinder or something? I don't fucking know. You should. I have come all over my face. <laughs> all the other earlier games separated reality and virtuality. But when you play Love Plus, real life and the game meld with one another. There hasn't been anything like that in the gaming world before. Yeah, yeah I don't know, man. I mean, it seems like it really is for the loneliest of the it lonely. It is. It's like those sex robots. Like they're they're yeah. constantly trying to make a woman that's a robot so you can fuck it and not have to talk. Or the really. problem is that just it helps you continue to be lonely. That's the problem. Yeah. You have to get out of your comfort zone to meet people. Yeah. And that's that's tough. Hey. Hey, what's not going on? Out. She's rolling a cup. Yeah, I mean, it's like uh, you just get you're super you're super lonely. You're dating your fucking Nintendo, yeah, and then you're you're planning a um, you know, fucking trench coat hit on somebody. That's, That's the problem. Yeah, is that it further isolates? Yeah. Look, human beings are meant to be social creatures. You, yeah, you can't stay in isolation, and it's we can't foster you. it. Yeah, don't don't marry yourself. Don't marry your fucking Nintendo, and don't marry buildings. Go go find some other freak that's like you. And that's it, and find happiness, Sometimes right? Sometimes real emotional totally. relationships oh can develop, God. at least in particularly oh, for active fuck. users. He's like kissing it. it now. Trust is the most important thing in a relationship. I think braces Manaka are. is a partner I can trust. Mm. She'd never cheat on me. That's why I prefer her to a real girlfriend. Yeah, well. There you go. I love how people get hurt one time by that one issue, and now they're, it's forever that thing. Like everyone's gonna cheat on me. I can't. Yeah. I can't ever trust again. Like, dude, no. There's other girls. I who can aren't trust whores. my computer. <laughs> I trust it. I trust my building. I trust my building. But even though people mm. are walking in and out of her every day, I know there's other pigs on her. I feel like she would never break my heart. <coughs> oh. oh, that was nasty. Um, how's your butthole today? It's pretty good. Yeah, I had a really rough week. You back on? Back on? I'm brown? back normal. Yeah. Back to Brown? It was really bad. You said you were going to name your next album No More Diarrhea. Yeah. 
No more like, diarrhea. Like Mary J. Blige is no more drama, but well, it's Well, I had no really diarrhea. bad diarrhea. I had yeah. an upper respiratory infection, and I got an antibiotic. I had never had this happen where I had the worst side effects of this antibiotic, which were which was intense diarrhea. Yeah, pretty it, bad. I mean, it took me down for a couple of days. <sighs> so It's terrible. Yeah. Um, all right, a couple uh, emails we should get into. Mm-hmm. Looks, let's see. Uh, Hi, Hitlers. Right after finishing up episode 396, I knew I had to email you with my observations that may give some more insight onto the big mystery. Who is the real water champ, even though it really isn't a mystery that Tom is the champ? It seemed okay. All right. that just on a mere listen from your conversation okay. with Martin, that Tom's knowledge about the contents of what was in each type of water was vastly superior to Mommy Tina's. Okay. At times, it's though as if Tom actually knew what was in the water before Martin even said anything about the water, okay. even where it was from. This may stem from Tom's superiority with accents. When Mommy Tina Yorkie sipped her water, she was clearly dumbfounded on what she was even tasting. When she would have thoughts about what she tasted, it reminded me only of Helen Keller's excited cries <laughs> of, What huh? when she discovered how to speak. I hope I was of some help to add on the mountain of evidence for Pro Tom. It's the water champ. Thanks, and see you in Breast Balls Beach, Michael. Mm. Well, Michael, I hope to see you in West Balls Beach so I can uh, hit you in your dumb face, because that's stupid. How to spot a psychopath. Your thoughts are dumb. Oh, I like this one. Hi, Mommy. I'm living, I'm an American living in Singapore. I'm sure I spotted a complete psychopath on the public bus yesterday. <laughs> it was high and tight, cisgendered businessman in a suit, but something was terribly wrong. I noticed he was wearing his watch over <gasps> the sleeve of his shirt. Oh, boy. What an obviously psychotic fashion choice. Absolutely. The only reason I can think of to wear your watch over your sleeve is to detonate some type of remote bomb. I would rather wear orthopedic shoes as earmuffs. Weigh in on this. Thanks, Gene. Jake. Jake, you're completely 100% right. 100% right. I've seen it a couple times. So it is I. a crazy look. Yeah. It is really bizarre. I think man. I did it in third grade, and then I realized how lame it looked. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I can't wear my swatch over my sleeve. That looks I also, lame. by the way, I've seen it more, uh, so I know some people, more people do it. I think it's bananas when people wear their watch on the inside of the wrist. That's terrible. You know, so they, they turn I hate their wrist that. inside. Why would you do that? It's goofier than shit. Yeah, it to doesn't. Do that. It doesn't look like a bracelet, bro. Like everyone knows it's a watch. Just but your watch on the outside, like a watch. Yeah, weirdo. Yeah, you fucking asshole. Everyone hates you. <laughs> that and now I resent people that wear their watch on the right. Oh yeah, the right hand. That's wrong too. It's supposed I to be know. left, dude. Always on the left. But why is it on the left? I don't know. Because I, I think as they the whole thing was that more people are. I think they said that like right-handed people put it on their left and more people are right-handed. Yeah, maybe that's it. But then why wouldn't you put it on your dominant hand so that you're always looking at that hand? Because then the okay. dominant hand uh, is free. Ah, yes. To do what you need to do with the it. hindrance of the yeah. watch. Got it. But yeah. that that is a psychopathic over uh, look. That's crazy. I kind of tell you what I feel is another psychopathic look, and I yeah. know I'm going to get some pushback on it. It's very very racy. But the sandals, like the ones I showed you today on the Vionic website, the, those ugly sandals that are yeah. like strappy, straps, yeah, they're hippie crazy. Hippie dad sandals with socks. Of course, that's not. Why would you get pushback? Because on I that? know those people are going to email me like, I wear it that way because I go hiking oh my and my God. feet sweat. No, <laughs> that's <laughs> terrible. It's, it's inexcusable. <laughs> It's you, there's no excuse to wear those, period, with or without socks. Oh, my God. Those I are agree. horrendous. Those are horrendous. There's other options out there. You know what I'm talking about, those strap-on Google Velcro it, sandals. Google it, get it, show them, because I, I feel like there's Birkenstocks. We're not talking about Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks are ugly, too, by the way. Yeah. These are the fully functional dad sandals or mom sandals. They're, they can go either way. Yeah. It's usually the mom sandal, actually. It's the woman who's totally given up. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is, I gave up on everything. <laughs> yeah. This is the worst. They're terrible. <gasps> oh, oh, Beach Basics. Oh. Velcro. Oh. <laughs> oh, those are terrible. There's no excuse. There's really no excuse. Wait, go back to the strappers. You can all do better. Go Everyone back. can oh. do better. <laughs> They're terrible. They're absolutely terrible. Oh, my God. Those are like, look, I wear orthopedic you shoes. you see, like... You can always uh, see like their fungus nail. Yeah, nasty. Ash on the back here. <laughs> Ashy totally. Those Ugh. are like uh, Shaq's feet going there. But Ugh. look, let me show you. So I'm wearing orthopedics right now. Yeah. But they're like, look, these are orthopedic for yeah. people watching. I'm lifting yeah. it to the camera. You can see they're like ballet flats. They're nice. Yeah. You wouldn't even know. That's like I give up. But everything is shut down. My genitals terrible. are closed. Yeah. Those are terrible, man. You yeah. shouldn't. So your vagina shut. 
Yeah, and I see dude, I see a lot more dudes in that than I see women. Oh my god! I see women that. with uh, dude haircuts wearing those. You yeah, know? of course. That's yeah. when you've they given chop up. Chop off the hair. <laughs> they 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 stop coloring it. Yep. And then they put those on, yep. and they're like, well, "I gotta get, gotta get what I gotta get." I'm out there taking care of life. Yeah, it's it's not. <laughs> what it's, happens? It's usually couples who wear those together <laughs> in their like sixties. They start to shut it down sexually. You'll see then, some in Denver, by the way. That's those are total Denver shoes. Yeah, I Denver. know. I didn't want to say that, but yes, they are Denver shoes. Yeah, of course. Because they hike. Great they outdoors. Walk. Yeah, yeah. Patagonia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just like being outside. These are just comfortable, and you know they get the job done. No, they don't. No, they're terrible, Oof. dude. There's nothing in this world that can make me wear those jeans. No. I promise you, as your wife, yeah, I will never wear those. I will never wear what about those. these. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> those are sandals with a heel. Yeah, those are terrible. They're all terrible. All these are terrible. God damn it. There's no. I also actually, but I see whenever I see Birkenstocks, damn. though, I always go nasty. like, I just feel like they stink. Well, I feel like they do too because the uh, they usually are black. Like if you look at the, the under the foot of the yeah. person, yeah. they're always black because yeah. they're worn down. You sweat in them, and yeah. that the leather gets. There's some type of right the texture of it's the, black. Yeah. Usually, it's gross. They look funky. Yeah, they look like they smell bad. I guess they're comfortable, right? Because a lot of people love them. People love their Burks, yeah. and I, I guarantee we're gonna get a lot of pushback on the Burks. <laughs> when I lived in San Francisco, a lot of people wore them. They're terrible. Well, speaking of feet, terrible. This came in. <laughs> my girlfriend and I were having this discussion today. She said the only time I ever wash my feet <laughs> is when you're in the shower with me and you make me. The rest of the time, <laughs> they get washed from the soapy water running yes. down my body. Yes. I, on the other hand. I'm a firm believer in washing of the feet. Can the mommies discuss this? James. Well, James, I'm with your girlfriend. Great topic. I don't wash my feet. I don't either. No. I feel like you just pee or you soap and then it just- Wait, 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 what? Pee is sterile. It sterilizes Come on. your foot. Why you gotta be so fucking nasty? I'm just, what? It's this truth. Is it's called hell. reality. So, Ugh. but I'll tell you what. I had an ex-boyfriend who was very type A, very meticulous, fol you know, folded his shirts with a folding board. Oof. Yes, we didn't last. Obviously, I'm. A yeah, pig. I know you didn't yeah, last. I'm a, I'm a total animal. Yeah, but he would uh, insist on washing his feet in the shower. Really? And I remember being blown away, and I had to pretend like I did that too regularly. Like, oh yeah. When yeah. you're with him. Yeah, like I totally shower too. Yeah. yeah. So I totally wash my feet. I, yeah, I, I don't. don't. Oh wait. I mean, I get pedicures and then they scrub them like yeah. they get in there. Yeah. No, I never do. Oh, uh, well, for. I mean, unless there's something like there's like I step on tar or something, you know, <laughs> yeah. but that's it. Yeah. I mean, I'm in the pool. I feel like that washes it. My feet are clean. I don't have, I don't have Your that feet problem. are clean. Yeah. I, don't I have nev never feet. smelled your feet. Yeah. I've never like been, you know, ooked out. Some people do have just naturally funkier feet. So maybe they need to. Yeah. You know, my feet are sweaty, but I feel like they get washed in the shower. Yeah. yeah. Will you bring up Shaq's foot? Oh, Come you want on. to? Well, I keep thinking about it. It was uh, during playoff <laughs> coverage. Ooh, nasty foot. Uh, a few days ago, I think on TNT, they were doing whatever. They were doing a remote shot, and uh, or they were at the game, and Shaq took his shoe off mm. and his sock off mm. and showed his size 22 foot. What kind of dong do you think is on that guy? I don't know. It's always been a, a big point of uh, discussion about whether it's <laughs> yeah it measures up to his enormity because people i think the rumor is that it doesn't in other words that, so, really not that it's like teeny tiny it's just that it's not in proportion to his we got a dick size. detectives this one i know has anyone had sex with shaquille o'neal can you let us know yeah now the big question is which we've debated hotly on this show is whether or not those things are correlated whether or not hand size is correlated to penile size or an indicator of penile size yeah. or foot size um let's <sighs> see here damn <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh. oh, poor Look at Shaq. The big toe is Look just. Look at this thing. It's like morphed. Oof, poor guy. Ooh. Oof, nasty. Oh. Look at that toe. The big toe is what troubles me. It's just, it's mashed to the right. I he, remember the. Uh, oh, man. Is he not is wearing bad. shoes that fit when he plays? No, no. It's like a lot of athletes, particularly in basketball, because you are stopping. All the oh, time, right. jumping, running, and they play these. You know, their seasons are eighty-two game seasons, and, right? And then you practice every day. A lot of them have really fucked up feet. You, but you it's think hard to maintain. They would design shoes 
to help that. I don't, I don't think know. it's that the shoe is a problem. It's just the level of activity. It's <sighs> it's so much more than, and you know, you're you're constantly pivoting, jumping, running. Right. Someone's stomping Mash. on you. Yeah, and then and then you play a game the next day and the next day and the next day mm-hmm. and the next day. I remember Jordan's feet were super fucked up. I saw a photo once. He he. Uh, Can I bring it up? Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you want to see it. Yeah, I kind of do. They're really fucked up. Dude, it's so important to wear good shoes, especially the older I get. Now that I'm into orthopedics, I really, <laughs> it's I can't I can't even wear flats like regular ballet flats. They really hurt. Yeah. I can't, I can't do it, dude. Since I had a kid, I just fucked up my whole uh, alignment, everything. So Back's all fucked up. Hips are all messed up. I remember it was in a book. It was like it. I had a book. Uh, I had a book of it, of not of his feet, but of him. And they, he was on the trainer's table. And I remember the comment from his wife was like, I can't believe you let them take a picture of that. Because <laughs> she, she was kind of like trying to protect him, you know? Yeah. But I don't see it. Um, oh, well. But yeah, they're, they're, it's, it's really common for these athletes to have super fucked Is that up. it? Is that Jordan? This? I don't know. Chicago Bulls, yeah. Michael Jordan. Well, they're all taped up. You can yeah, see that. I mean, you can tell there's something resting. Yeah. Here. Oh, they're, his nails are all jacked up. Yeah, they're all yeah. fucked up. Poor they're guy. All fucked up. But it's, it's just from from being crazy athletes, you know. Sure is. I know what that's like. Yes, you sure do. I had the best thing ever happen to me on the flight home from New York from Judor Titties. Yeah. I was wearing the jean sweatshirt. It's like my favorite thing now. I wear yeah. it all the time. And uh, the stewardess was, I'm sorry, flight attendant, I got, sorry, I'm sorry, it was such a cisgendered comment. Yeah, that was terrible. Um, she comes up to me and she goes, oh, is it Jean or Jean? I'm from Montreal. And I was like, it's Jean. You should have <laughs> said Jean. Jean. I couldn't lie to her. I should have said Jean. Why couldn't you lie to her? I just didn't think of it on the spot. I'm so like, I'm so earnest yeah, in real I life. I can't, very cute. I can't be, I can't lie to nice people. Um, Jean or Jean? Jean or Jean? I really like that. I wish I had it recorded. They're calling this guy the anti dad boner. Okay. So, you know, the dad boners obviously really lose their mind and they celebrate things. Yeah. Um, they just are, you know, you can't, you can't bring a dad boner down, right? They just, <laughs> they get excited about uh, mm. anything, really. Mm. Uh, oh, is this, this is muted. Sorry. Oh my god, it sounds like an Alco. No, they get excited. <laughs> so that's a dad boner if you're new. That is a dad boner. This guy is upset about things. It's different. Grumpy dad. I've been searching for the potholes all of my <laughs> life long. He's on this. Ah, uh, look at this shit. You gotta ride in the middle of the fucking road. It's an <laughs> IED fucking zone. It's fucking <laughs> terrible. Oh my look! Oh my God! Fuck! <laughs> Look how bad that road is. That is terrible. Look at this shit. Fuck. Fuck. Oh my God! What the fuck do I do here? What do I do here? Do I stop? Do I get That'll a ruin your car. Do I pick my car up and move it. What the fuck do? I... Oh my God! Look ahead. Look a fucking head. Look ahead. It's like miles. What the fuck of is this? this? I oh feel like God. I put the fucking hazards on. This is fucking. This is fucking. Look at this shit. Oh fuck! Look at this. This is the kind of dad I grew up with. Yeah. Well, stepdad was more like this. He Look was, right? Shit. Fired up. Look at that shit. <laughs> Look at these fucking holes. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. <laughs> fucking size of them. Fuck. Kicking Look at dirt like a dog. It's He's crazy. all bent that shit. Oh, that's terrible. That'll fuck your tires up so fuck bad. You. Oh, my God. This is ridiculous. <laughs> He's right. It is. It's not I cool. I keep going. That, that's, why you, that's why you pay taxes, look at this man. Shit. Look, that road is just completely battered, man. No, it's no good. Potholes in my fucking lawn. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. He's just getting mud on himself. Yeah. yeah Potholes, worst fucking crazy. road in America. Worst fucking road in my life. I wonder where he assholes. is. I don't know. I'm worst curious. Worst fucking road in America. Piece of shit, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Where's fucking road in America? He's just yelling at the road, though. Yeah. yeah. No one even comes on his fucking road. No. They know better. I've driven on road. It is unnerving to drive on this kind I, of shit. I fucking war zone. That's what the fuck it That's is. how I blew out our tire, Gene. Really? On the, our car. That's how it happened. I was on a pothole on Sunset up towards the 405. Yeah. And I phew, took one too fast. And the guy Boom. says, look, I can tell it was a pothole that did this to your car. He told me. He showed me how. So... I'm gonna go slow. Very cautious. 
It is like an IED. It's, tra it's terrible. Shit. Fucking terrible. <laughs> Fuck that shit. That's how you're gonna be. <laughs> I mean, it's fucking terrible! <laughs> I get a little speed here. Don't let me fuck like at this! What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Look! Look at that. Unbelievable! That is unbelievable. It is. Listen, look at this shit! Look at this shit! Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, it's pretty bad, What are dude. my tax paying fucking dollars doing? Good point. What the fuck are they doing? Yeah. Imagine walking by and seeing that guy making that. No. Um... All right, so we got to get to this. Yeah. If you're a new listener to the show, uh, one of our all-time great regulars on this show has been uh, my father <coughs> and sometimes my mother. And yesterday I had them in here for a little sit-down where I got to just talk to them in general and also catch up on some uh, some show topics. <laughs> And even play some games with them. Oh, I can't. I mean, when we were prepping the games, I was so excited. I wanted to sit in here to listen, but then I thought it'd probably better if I wait until we play it back. But we also spent the last week with them. We haven't even yeah, gone over that. And, I know. And we got to hear so many wonderful stories from them about your- Vincent Donna. <laughs> My dad can't pronounce words. He always says words My wrong. favorite moment by far was when we were looking for a movie to watch, and your dad's reading off the actors, and what yeah. does he say, Tom? He's like Chris Pratt and Emma Stone and Vincent Donafreon. Like, I almost shit. So he goes Vincent Donafreon, and then you repeat it right away. Yeah. And I said, and I don't know what I enjoy he doesn't more. Even catch it. He's like, hmm? he doesn't care. Is when he talks and he says something wacky, or when you repeat it perfectly because yeah. you do a really good impression yeah. of him. It's like hearing him in stereo. He it's also he he mispronounces words that I don't like yeah. for years. Right? He would say uh, pedophile. Yeah, why pedophile? And I would go every time he said it, I would know what he was trying to say, but I would go, "What's that?" And he would turn to me like a guy that fucks kids. Right. And I'd say, "So you mean pedophile?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then he would just move on. I go, "Why do you keep saying it wrong?" <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, what? Or like we're both news junkies, right? We both read news, watch yeah. news. He'll be like, did you hear this? Uh, Steve Bannon is doing... I go, it's Bannon. I go, you hear it a hundred times a day. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's the same guy. But I th like, Bannon, we, yeah. We like, but it's not a new guy that they mentioned once. No. He sees the word, he hears it pronounced, and How then he, he mispronounces it. Over and over. But I think it's because he doesn't have an ear for like music or language. You right. have to have an ear. Right, right. That's a good point. You're, you have to be tuned into it. And he's just this, not uh, tuned in. See, they were saying this Gerard Kushner <laughs> has gotten like Gerard, <laughs> Jared Kushner. Yeah, I'm like why do you? Why are you saying Gerard? Right. He's getting. He's confused with Carmichael. Yeah, he's a big Carmichael fan. Yeah. Yeah, it's so bizarre to me. So um, I think you'll really enjoy. I'm I gonna mute wait. our mics just okay. to hear how this starts. It's audio only. People will always inevitably go. Why isn't there video of them? They're old. They don't want to be video. No. You know, it's just like when if you bust out a camera, my mom will be like, go away. Take a yeah, picture away. She doesn't want, want to be on camera. So, uh, it, it's believe me, the audio is more than sufficient. Vincent so, Donofrio. Just for a moment, I'm going to mute us just <laughs> okay. so you can hear this only. Because I want you to... My dad, my dad is a legendary uh, uh, heavy breather, too. <laughs> so, here you go. Um, I can definitely hear you breathing, that's for sure. Can you, uh, Jesus. Can you hear me too? Uh, you just talking to the microphone, Mom. You don't go, can you hear me too? <laughs> <laughs> can you hear me breathing? No, okay, there you are. Let's see. Hold your breath, buddy. Holy shit. What is up with that? Just the way I breathe. Oh, shit. I mean, oh, my God. I mean, I cannot do this if you're going to go. That's how he breathes. That's how he breathes? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. 
Thank you, Mommy. Thank no, you, Mommy. I don't, don't feel bad for him. Jesus. Okay. I could have. <clears throat> I could have a fart while we do this show. No, too. please don't. I can't help it. No, you got to leave if you have to do that. Just leave. You're in a, in a tight space. Don't do that. Just get up and leave. Do it outside. Seriously. Seriously. It'll really ruin this. They, they, they really it'll are. really ruin this. We won't be able to do it. Does it smell that bad? How can you act like you don't know if it smells that bad? <laughs> so we had uh, moments <laughs> earlier. You don't know what happened. I think you forget what you did. I think you I was left. putting the kid down. Yeah. I had walked into the and just entered the living room. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not kidding you. It smelled like a sewage <laughs> canal. And I go, what the fuck is that? And he goes, I just had a little one. And I was like, and my mom, I, I go, because... She'll think that, you know, I'm, I go, just walk towards the living room. Yeah. And she turned around. She was like, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. And I go, it smells like a sick person. Yeah. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't smell normal. It smells like diarrhea. Well, he farted in the car when we were on the way to the country club. And I smelled it. I pret- I didn't want to talk about it, but yeah. it was really rancid. Oh, this it's was like worse. It's like napalm fart. It was, this was worse. Yeah. So I was just telling him right there. I go, if you fart here, this is over. Well, this like, is a small studio. Yeah. And- no, you can't fart. Yeah, it's, it's not like other people's farts. People don't understand. It's really not. Oh, my God. Remember when they farted in front of our nanny? They farted loudly because we were <laughs> watching a movie, and there would be like a scene where, you know, <laughs> like the scene fades out, and my mom went, fart, and I turned, and my nanny was walking past the living room, and I was like, <laughs> just mouth dropped, and I saw her head turn like, uh, hey. Hi. Well, she's like a nice Guatemalan lady. She doesn't. She doesn't do that no. at home. There's no, no way. No, no, not like There's that. There's no way. My mom was mortified when I, I told I her. I go. She heard you. Fuck. She was what? <laughs> yeah. To me, it smells normal. No, you no. And actually, it, actually, it was, I think you have an infection. It actually was like a. <laughs> like it was actually scary how bad that smelled. I really? Thought, I if that it, had been anybody else, or, or if, I mean, even if it was you, I would tell somebody you'd immediately go to a doctor. I think, I'm, I think, I'm not even joking. No, it's true. you think it's funny, but I told you last night. We all well, always smell like that. No, no, no. no. <clears throat> we all have our, our own fingerprint in the intestines, okay? N- okay. Nothing about that smells even <laughs> remotely normal. It smells like, it smells really, really different. It doesn't smell normal. Okay. I think we're missing okay. infection. I don't have an infection. How do you know you don't have one? Because I've had that normal smell for years. Well, I live next to you. We sleep in the same bed. <laughs> and I asked her last night to please open the sheets. I couldn't breathe. Yeah, babe. Hey, I'm not. Am I on speakerphone? Yeah, you are. Take me off for a second because I want it. Okay. Oh, yeah, because you had questions for me. Well, because I, I wanted to add more ideas. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wonder if. Uh, no, you can't hear it. So sometimes you can hear what's yeah. going okay. on. Okay. But I think I think we right. we led we led right into that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Christina asked me to ask you how you like your new bra. I love it. What was the experience like? Oh my well, god. I feel like a normal human being. Can you hear my dad breathing? Yes, it's alarming. <sighs> now, just so the listeners know, your mother, uh, I don't know how to put this delic- delicately. She's big sloppers like me. Yeah. But she's been wearing the wrong size bra for s- her whole life for and seventy. You, you knew this already. Just eyeball I eyeballed it because yeah. from one big tit monster to another, <laughs> I look and I go, "You need to go to Nordstrom. You need yeah. to have a girl measure you because they're yeah. trained." And I we got her the right fit, and it changed everything. Yeah. She looked amazing with the tits up. I feel like I have actually Here. a. How about just a, sit back for a, a second? Boop. Sit back. Yeah. I have a just boob lift yeah. without paying for the boob lift. Really? I can jump up and down. They don't move. I am sexy. Yeah. I can't even think I'm sexy. Because what happened was Christina took you and you were wearing a bra that, that they all, they measured you. They, I, I was wearing all my life a 34C. Yeah. And I turned to be a 30G. <laughs> um, first I told the lady, that doesn't make any sense. But the truth is, it, it fits me like a glove to me. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Your father got upset. <laughs> Because the boobs are in place and they are not puffing and falling. I mean, it looks like a perfect fit to me. It is a perfect fit, but what it bothers him <laughs> is that because they fit me, they yeah. are not flying all over and jumping up and down the way he would like. Is that true? It is. <clears throat> well, I think if you have G yeah. boobs, G boobs are, are really <clears throat> gigantic. I mean, if you go to, <laughs> if you Google G boobs, mm-hmm. 
you'll find her. You'll find some big boobs. Okay. Yeah. So I think. What yeah, the, but I thought we got the explanation that that was just it's, a it's European, European size. Yeah. I, uh, I, I didn't. I didn't see that. Okay. It is. It's what equivalent. Do you mean you didn't see that? It's a thirty triple B. Okay. Well, well, I didn't. I didn't versus. I have to Google European bra sizes sure. versus American. Okay. Okay. So. What do you got up there? Well, these are numbers, so 28. Well, let's go to cup size. Screw the numbers, okay? Okay. We're talking cups, really. Numbers are, are girth. You want to get into the, the real tits, you got to go to the cup <laughs> size. Okay. Let's see what this says here. Now don't get excited, uh, Tom. Those are just pictures. Because <laughs> there were tit pictures. Trying to look for the conversion. Right. Okay. Cup size, bra size converter. Maybe this will be it. Mm. Trying to make sense to him, you know. Wait, can you pause for a second? Yeah. Yeah, but I, th I think he was upset because he felt gypped. Right. Because we came home and I texted your mother, hey, what did Top Dog think about your new boobs? Yeah. And she texted me back, he's upset, he's disappointed. Yeah. And then you said. I said it's because he wants them spelling out. Right. So the 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 bra that's it's ill-fitting is exciting to him because tits are falling out of it. So he feels gypped, like he feels like we we snuck in. Yeah, and ruined his his tit pleasure. Yeah, yeah, true. Interesting. Okay, if I am a triple D, so G here, yeah, is triple D USA. See, mom, can you show me how those big tits fart? <laughs> how the big tits fart? Yeah, big tits don't fart, Tommy. <laughs> You can't, can't, can you make them? Fart? Yeah. These are tits. <laughs> what are you talking about? People want to people want to know if you can show them how those big tits fart. Are we taking this serious? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get to you. <laughs> you want to fart? Yeah. Oh, can you sing the song? Do you remember how it was? Yeah. Um, this uh, was a, a song that we sing all the time. Yeah. We sang it in the car, and then right. she came up with her version. Uh, uh, can you? Uh, do you, do you want really want to, to fart? Yeah. You, are we talking real fart? But a fart, fart, fart? Yeah. Is it serious? Is fart? <laughs> boom, boom. Really good. All so right. Far. But it really, really fart. Because the original song is Do You Wanna Fart? Can You, you really, really fart? fart? Can You Really Fart? Fart. <coughs> Do you want to fart? Do you really want to fart? Can you fart, fart, fart? Fart! <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, that was your really mom. Good. That's my mom. That was really good. I really hope that at least maybe one of our genius musical listeners can do something with that, <laughs> create a real tune out of that. I think it's already working, it's already yeah. happening. You didn't even have that to ask. Your oh, no, that was the one you had this morning in the bathroom. You also, both of you farted in front of our nanny. Oh, that, okay, that's embarrassing. You don't need to talk about that. But you did. Yeah, but we <laughs> did. But hers, hers no, was no, no. That, many decibels. I don't want to talk about that. Let's talk about Many the decibels higher talk than about mine. Talk about yeah. Libra. That was really something. I got to study this this cup size chart. Look, eh? Dominic, where did you see the G there? <laughs> it says right I there. I thought Europe G. Europe G, triple D. Triple D. Yeah. Triple D or E. Or actually, if they're UK, yeah, if it was UKG, it would be an F. But that makes sense. So you're... I am a triple D. Yeah, so that makes sense. That makes total sense. But we were doing everything wrong because I was using 34. Mm -hmm. I mean 30. Yeah. And you I told me the 30 was a little tight. But now it's good. It stretches a little bit. So yeah. today is good. What is, it, what is your disappointment in these bras? Because it just kind of flattened everything out. Yeah, what there was no cleavage. What no cleavage. What's, I like cleavage. I told you. I like cleavage. And bush. That's the first time she's in bush. But cleavage, cleavage. I've always, I was raised on cleavage. Okay. Yeah. When I, when I was, when I was uh, you know, a good little Catholic boy yeah. going to the movies, you didn't have, all you had was cleavage. Yeah. In yeah. those days. So there's no sure. cleavage. Okay. Either. You know, so. It's cleavage, look. That's not that's not pushed together cleavage. That's see, so that's what it was. So he, they, they're, yeah, the comfort provided by the good fitting bra eliminates <laughs> what he likes. Spillage, spillover. Yeah. Well, 
here's your here's the deal. You can also buy a bra that fits and that creates cleavage. But your mother was insistent upon not buying a bra that was too sexy. So we got our bras that were in her yeah. comfort zone. Yeah. But she didn't want like the sassy ones is what yeah. I'm trying to say. I tried. Believe me. I wanted to. I wanted to do this for your dad more than anybody. Like I wanted your mom to come back with a little sassitude. She was the first person to ever say tits don't fart. <laughs> She right. answered that. Right. She was like, these, these don't fart. These don't fart. Most people these. don't push back on that. No. Yeah. She said you want me to get him a smaller so the thing pops out. Well, a little bit smaller and kind of... A little cleavage. I like cleavage. Well, why don't you pay for a boob lift so that... You don't need a boob lift. You got great boobs. No. Okay. You just have the wrong bra. You that's all. You just don't want to You want... They have... They make push-up bras. They make bras that put them together. Yeah, this one just flattened everything out. Seems yeah. like he's he's making his his case. I you know. got to respect the case. What? That's the most stupid case I ever heard. Well, look no. at this. I can jump up and down and nothing move. Mm-hmm. This has well, I it. guess you got to look at it from your point of view. If Wait, you're look really at this. Com- look at this perfection. I know, I know. But if you're comfortable, but I don't, but it's still like cleavage. <laughs> um, you need to find a different woman. There. Oh, how has the trip been for you so far? Uh, the best trip. Oh, it's ever. been fantastic. No, Tommy, yeah. honestly, the best trip ever in every sense. From the minute that we got in that plane and that spoiling little bit, that yeah, I so the best part of the trip. Is I real. am talking. It's I know it's by turns. There's there's a this mic come right here where I mute his mic. Really? Yeah. Because the, the breathing is overwhelming to me. I I feel like he has to go to the doctor. This is what every wrong. phone call is like that I right. talk to. <laughs> yeah. And they, no, because kind of, kind of shot, me, shot me down there, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. Yes, I did. Well, they, then we came here. I got Ellis is absolutely to die for. Yeah, it's, that's it's true. A precious, perfect he's little a, kid. He's a beautiful boy. However, if I am you, I will take a DNA test. I know. <laughs> I'm feeling like that too. It's starting to look so much like his mind. I don't see yes. any. But he really is a perfect kid. Yeah, he's it, beautiful. And so intelligent. He observed the but sense. We have, we have to bring up one. Oh, and I muted your mic. See, I did. <laughs> we have to bring up one point. Yeah. That. That. Alice gave me a lot of kisses, and I think you got oh, your. Oh, they had like grandparent battles. Right. Who could. Alice would give the most kisses to. to. Yeah. Yeah. First kiss, was it yesterday or today? I can't remember. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm about <laughs> 25 kisses to your. Two or three right now. That yeah, is true. Not, no, that, that's fact. I mean, well, we're dealing that, with facts. That hurts. Okay. I have to admit it. You know, and, and I think that... I, I don't know why, Tommy. I'm convinced it's because... I think it's confidence. I told you. I, I got my theory on it. I think he confuses your father with you, and he looks the faces alike, and he says... No, oh. no, no. Tommy has a beard. Doesn't keep me. I'm clean shaven every day of my life. Um, <laughs> that's true. It's, it's true. So it's it's really... I think it's the well, uh, the yeah, vibes that I the maybe vibes I, maybe I try so Pause hard. For a yeah. yeah, you know what yeah, you, you, just occurred to me is mm. that your dad was wearing the same outfit the whole week. Yeah, like he didn't change. He came over. He was wearing khakis that were too big for him. He wore he lost a different weight. shirt once. Right, yeah. but I'm saying he wore oversized khakis with a belt, and then the khakis would come up <laughs> over the belt because right. it was too too big. Yeah, but he didn't want he didn't want to buy pants to fit. No. He wanted to wear the big pants. Yeah. And then he laid on the couch. Remember he was laying, we were watching that movie, and two buttons came undone, and then his hushi was hanging out, his stomach was hanging out. Yeah. So funny. Ridiculous. He hates being comfortable. He is comfortable. You got that wrong. It's not comfortable. <laughs> he says he's comfortable. I am comfortable. <laughs> he came over, it was like a chill day, and just yeah. laid in khakis and a button down, and that was his comfort. Yeah. Oh, my God. And a belt. And loafers. That's his comfort. It makes me so uncomfortable watching him. That is his t-shirt him. and sweatpants. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do it. I get home I and I have to take everything off I right know. away. I me too. I'm the same way. Ugh. I walk around in my boxers. Right. Yeah. <laughs> In front of the nanny too, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Well, it's my house. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I you go in the there. Thought. You go in. Tommy's right. You go in with, you hesitate when you go in. Yeah. You're almost looking I'm for trying, a rejection. I am trying. No, I go trying. in with full confidence. I'm going to get a kiss. Yeah, that's true. You're right. Um, let me ask you this. Recently, you called me from the Orlando airport. Do you remember this? Oh, yeah. That was really... I know people would want to hear about this. You called me from the Orlando airport from the same restroom stall. Yeah. What? Uh, yeah. 
about, you oh. know, it was probably almost, oh my God. almost 20 <laughs> years ago when I had... I I did the little little accident in the my pants in the Orlando yeah. airport, and I had to leave my underwear in the stall. Well, what I did was the other day, a little time, I went back and revisited wow. the location. Took a picture of the stall. Okay. Did you really? I did. I did. bombed. This is so disgusting. And you know they've they've made some modifications. The the uh, they all make all the places have bigger handicap stalls now. It's the law. Yeah. You know, but I, that spot is still there. And uh, went in and, you know, just kind of relived the moment. You know, some people message me that they're at the Orlando airport <laughs> and they want to know what stall it happened in so they can go visit it. That is so disgusting. The, it's on the <laughs> B terminal site. It's on the, it's on B. The if you come up like, out of B baggage claim. <laughs> maybe they want to know what it is so they don't if go. If you out. come up out of baggage <laughs> claim B <laughs> and go to the right before you, there it is. He shit <laughs> through his underwear there, had to leave the underwear, and even had shit on his pants. But guess what? What? It just happened to him again in his office. What? <laughs> Why don't you tell them? Oh, I told you about that when I... I, I it just I, happened. I had a little fumble in the office. Recently? <laughs> yeah. What happened? I couldn't get... I was, I was heading in there. I thought I had perfect timing. I don't know how But I have... You know, on some suits, they have that other yeah. little hook. Yeah. And I had trouble getting that undone. And before I could make the turn and drop the drawers, I had a little fumble. How much? Not a lot, but enough to <laughs> go in the wrong places where I had to actually... Did you go home? No. What I did was I just uh, <laughs> threw the underwear, the underwear where I, I cleaned up in there. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I just wore my suit pants. No underwear. <laughs> no underwear. You know, I mean, was it on your legs and stuff too? <laughs> no, it was, well, a little bit on the leg, but I got oh, that off. God, okay. <laughs> Mostly on cheeks. Oh, and, oh, oh. I, no, 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 this is extreme. Huh? Yeah. Can we talk different topics? And, uh, <laughs> and it was a stinker too. I mean, I bet. Yeah. If that's any indication of what <laughs> comes out, I'm sure it was a stinker. But uh, Tell me this is disgusting for me. <laughs> you know, I day. thought about going home and, and, and changing, but I figured I pretty much got everything done with that one thing. Hmm? Yeah. I think he's proud of Talking it. Talking to the mic. No, no, I am embarrassed. Why are you embarrassed? <laughs> because this is disgusting. <laughs> what do you mean? It's just part of life. Part of life. It's reality. Get in their pants and just throw it in the office. I said, what did you do with your underwear? He said, I left it in my office. Oh. Well, no, not in the in that the was men's your room. Answer. And I said, in the men's the room office. where you throw he your... Said, so, he said, so what? The cleaning people are coming. I said, so you want... Where you have your hand towels. So I just threw it in there. People put hand towels on the top. Nobody's going to see it. <laughs> I mean, paper towels, paper towels. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I felt good, though, after I did that, though. Let me... Yeah. Yeah. But doesn't... Damn. Doesn't he live oh, near his office? That's a good sound. Yeah. Not far. Do you know that um, there's this couple, a mother and, and son, that, <laughs> that got married? What? Yeah. Can you imagine marrying your, one of your children? No. That's a joke, no? No. <laughs> you cannot marry your, your son. I know. They just got arrested. Wait, in what part? Um, I forget. I'm your mom and you're my son, <laughs> and I am falling in love with him. He said, are you really? I said, yes, I am. He said, you know what? I was scared to let you know, too. I am, too. We're both consenting adults. If if uh, it comes down to it, you know, it's just like the gays. They're, they're, you know, as long as they're over 18, everything's fine. What? Yeah. <laughs> All they want to do is jail them for 18 months? Oh, well, I guess, you know. I, don't I know. have never heard a story like this in my life. I know. I asked him, will you ever date your mom? And he said, will you date your son? I said, on the truth, yes, I would. Because mm -hmm. 19 years, you're the best thing that ever happened to me, and I really want to be with you the oh, rest of my life. <laughs> gross, huh? This is not gross. This that, is, that this is, is, this that is, is unconceivable. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Okay. Yeah. What a sick mind. Yeah. We used to be scared of the teacher with the student. I know. Now it's the mother with the son. The mother and the <laughs> son. The first approach was actually me. Oh my God. Um, what happened was we were, we were hanging out and, you know, just talking, you know, just laughing. And I looked at her and she looked at me and I just, I kissed her. It was a real kiss. Did he know it was his mother? Of course. Of course he knows it's his mother. Yeah. It was a real kiss. Oh, uh. oh. <laughs> Let me know. See it. I know. I know. This has to be a joke. I no, it's for real. They, they got arrested. 
They was in the, we followed up on the story. They got arrested. I cannot believe this story. Would you marry your grandson? <laughs> Ay, por el amor de Dios. <laughs> The world is going more than crazy now. Yeah. No, I'm not kidding you. This is getting just, <laughs> we're getting to extreme craziness. Yeah. You know, tomorrow you're going to find out your father really is in ISIS. Oh, really, Dad? Yeah. You're in ISIS? Tell him. That's one organization I would never even joke being a part of. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, a lot of the listeners want to hear Would You Rathers with you guys, okay? Yes. They want to hear what? Would you rather? Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, wrong button. Not related to fart or not fart, no? Uh, no. You hear the breathing? Yeah. It's a lot. I have to fart. Do you hear that? Yeah. Drink the top layer. How many itchy assholes? It's time to play a real sexual predator. It's time to play chunky. It's time to play this oh. not filled <laughs> toilet paper. The urine from two dirty homeless men. It's time to wipe my butt with your mucus. Homeless jar. I've of been to have sex with your sister. Take it in the face. Vinegar strikes. The grandmother walks in on you masturbating. Never have another orgasm. Okay, I'm assuming you've never played this before. So what happens is I present two scenarios. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Some file. Where's that Sorry, coming from? You're yeah. recording. I don't know where that's coming from. Um, anyways, what, can, what happens is I present to you two scenarios, okay? And you have to pick one. In other words, it's two things that are undesirable. So and I have to pick one. Yeah, that's the game. It's just a, it's a, it's just a, a logic game. And then you explain why. So in other words, if I said, uh, would you rather, you know, eat nothing but uh, marshmallows or only get to sleep 30 minutes at a time? Those are both things you don't want to do. But you go, I would take the marshmallows because I... I I could deal with eating that. I have to get, like, you have to explain why you chose one or the other. Okay? So the first one that came in for you was, Charo, would you rather eat nothing but vegetables and you can visit casinos as much as you want or no casinos, but you can eat whatever you want? You don't even need to finish. You don't, need, you don't even <laughs> need to finish this. that question. Really? I would rather eat only vegetables, but visit casinos as much as I want. Really? A hundred percent. That's how much that means to you. It, I, totally, I, so would, I have no doubts. Yeah. No doubts. Totally. Oh That's God. what she would say. Yeah. Absolutely. I, that would mean breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Nothing but vegetables. You would do it? A hundred percent. I cannot yeah. believe this. A hundred percent. See, I think that you're saying that, but the reality would be too hard. Uh, no, I, uh, absolutely test me. not. No. Really? No. Test me. Test That's me. how much you love casinos. Oh, my gosh. I'm so addicted yeah. to the stupid yeah. machines. And you're so good at it. Yeah. I lose People it. don't know. No, nobody knows. What, at eating vegetables <laughs> at the casino? About, about how good she is at, at, at taking these oh, casinos gosh. to the cleaners. Oh, oh my gosh. She does. She cleans the... Uh, she cleans them, all right. <laughs> yeah, I clean. I clean I my. Mean, I clean my wallet. What she does is they. She empties them out. Actually, she fills them up with so much money they have to be taken out and uh, yeah, it's cleaned. horrible. Yeah. But at but one where, what, for a second, what was that? I don't know. <laughs> but the fact is, your mother won't eat anything that is grown from the ground, and that includes. I made strawberry shortcake for dinner last night for dessert. She wouldn't even eat a strawberry. No. Like, your mother won't even touch a Brussels sprout, even if it's covered in a delicious sauce. And she's super petite. Like, she's tiny. Like, she's like 105 pounds. Oh, my gosh. But all yeah. she eats is cookies, sweets, yeah, uh, bread with butter. It's, it's unbelievable. Crazy. And she's they, so alive. She had a physical and, like, flying colors. Yeah. <laughs> that's bananas. Yeah. But that's why I thought that was really crazy to ask her, because she loves... I, th I know. I thought, too. Cause that's what I'm saying, though. The real I don't think she's facing the reality on that one. Yeah. It's just that she really does love casinos. Right. My mom, by the way, if you're thinking poker player, mm-mm. <laughs> just slots, man. Just... Penny slots. Jing, jing. Yeah. Pennies. Okay. So what, what, is, what is the thrill, though? Just hearing ding, ding, it, it ding, ding, ding. It gave me the rush. It gave me yeah. the rush. When you see it win a little bit. No, because I never win a little bit. But wait, so when where, the where's sensation. the payoff? Well, number one, I see machines that have been paid, so I said, yeah. this is going to be... Do you ever get a payout? Yes. 
Oh, but, yeah. I mean, she, no. gave, she gave me a thousand dollars. She came back to the room as thousand dollars. Really? $1, wow. Yeah. When was that? Three years ago. <laughs> when was? Uh, she goes a lot. When was Clinton president? Let me see. Jesus. Think. Uh, <laughs> it was the most exciting scene in the oh, year. Was, exciting. And it was it a thousand in one payout? Yes. yes. That's exciting. And that's exciting. That's exciting. And how much were you betting on that? Because my problem with you, as somebody that doesn't do it a lot, is I always think you bet too little. No, no. I have raised my bet. You and have? he's the one who's trying to make me. He says, you used to last at $100 all night. I, I was working some casinos. I think yeah. I told you. And yeah. as I'm walking to, my, to the showroom, I walked by the high dollar slots. Yeah. So I just put in a $20 thing and hit spin, spin, spin. And two out of the three times I did that, I won. First time three hundred dollars, the next time seven hundred dollars. Get out of here! And it just and then the the, well, the nice time I lost, but so yeah. you went with a thousand dollars for food and sixty yeah. bucks. Yeah, but I spent sixty. But bucks. again, after I did that, I just my in other words, I because, played for thirty seconds. Because you don't seconds. like the casino, you yeah. just want to go put some money to see if you win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for me, it's my but entertainment. You, it's the, yeah, yeah, it's I get a it. rush. I have to have my orange juice. My my cigarette, yeah. my slot machine that is going to pay me. I I don't like people around. So by the way, she hadn't smoked a cigarette on this trip. Okay, I don't understand that. She yeah. has not smoked I'm one. Not, there's no casinos in here. But you usually, I thought you like your evening cigarette. No, no, no not, not not when she's out of town. But at home, don't you have an evening yes. cigarette? At, yeah. uh, yes, at home, yes, but yeah. not here. No, yeah. I haven't even I haven't even think about it. That's interesting to me. It's weird, no? Dad, would you rather go all on all the cruises you want, but it's only to Vietnam? <laughs> or you have to wear tight jeans and loose T-shirts every day so you cruise wherever you want. To people that don't know, you have to understand a couple of things. Yeah. He's a Vietnam vet. <laughs> uh, he hates <laughs> everything like Asian cuisine. He hates everything All that. And the whole world, I think, as a byproduct of being right. in war there. Rightly so. And also hates informal wear. <laughs> Only hates wears, jeans. Yeah, hates them. Hates them. Hates wearing a shirt that's not collared. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> tight jeans and loose t-shirts and cruise wherever I want. Really? Yeah. You wow. wear jeans every day. Tight, it, tight jeans. If I jeans. can cruise wherever I want, yeah. yeah, versus going to Vietnam, I get that get old pretty fast, buddy, let me tell you. I bet. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'll take the tight jeans and the... Really? Yeah. You never wear jeans. We should try them, no? I know. I don't wear jeans. I do have my... my um, you got your khakis nice. on right now? Your yeah, sensible but my khakis. assistants, they gave me uh, jeans for Christmas. Yeah. That's a joke? No, they thought... They, they, they really actually want... ordered them for me. Really? Mm. Nice ones? Never took the tax off. Really? Yeah, because of course they're nice. Yeah, they're very no, nice. No, I'm saying, like, there's... I think there's nice designer jeans that actually fit... No, no, these are, like... like no, I mean, if like, I... Levi's or something. If I go, okay. if I go shooting, next time I go clay pigeon shooting, I might wear them. Like really, yeah. He hasn't even taken the. I th- I saw you in a pair of jeans and black sneakers, and I thought it looked really good actually. Like, he looks great in that. That's what I'm saying. They yeah. look good on you. Yeah, but that's an easy. That's an easy one for me. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think you would get so annoyed at wearing jeans, jeans every day. Are you said tight jeans. No, I can go to cruise anywhere I want to. You're no, wearing no, your no. jeans only. You they have to cruises. wear. You don't wear whatever you want to in the cruise. You have to wear tight jeans. I said I can cruise wherever I want. Ah, yes. Yeah. And your tight jeans. Yeah. yeah. I go back yeah. to the room. Do you know what that means? You watch. have to lay in bed, and you have to ask me to help you pull up the zipper. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Charo, would you rather be retarded, <laughs> or you have to drive on the freeway? Be retarded. <laughs> Serious thinking. Really? I'd rather be retarded. <laughs> I, can't, I can't. I can't. So me. If I'm retarded, people will feel sorry for She's me. She's convinced that every car on the freeway, first of all, <laughs> we, this happened one time. We're, we're coming back from, we went up to Jacksonville with the Mayo Clinic thing. Oh, he was yeah. so mean. Uh, and I, I hope I, he tell you the truth. He was I am, mean. I am, I, I was, I did, I got frustrated. So she's going to follow I'm following you. Following me, okay? Oh, boy. All right. She oh gets behind boy. She gets behind she a truck. Mm-hmm. And this is on 95? Yes. Yeah, going south no. on a truck, getting behind a truck. Mm-hmm. It's going 45 and a 7. I feel safe. Oh, my she God. Felt no, you safe. know what he did? I'm going to tell you what he did. He pulled out his car, so I said, oh, my God, something happened to your father. So I immediately went there, got out, and I said, what happened, Daddy? How can you drive like that? Tommy, he made me shake. 
I am here. I'm in the spread for the first time. Scared to death. Jesus. I wanted a divorce right, right that moment. I couldn't because I was in the spread way. Yeah, we were 45 and a 70, okay? I said, Jesus. well, then, drive, then Tom, get in front of me and drive 45 and I follow you. Retarded. I, retarded. <laughs> so what, how did you make this drive? Uh, he had to drive slower and I have to speed a little bit. And how slow did you drive? From Jacksonville? Oh, we were under the, we were, we, we got, I don't know how many thousand cars were on the expressway yeah. that day. Yeah. We got passed by every one of them. Yeah. Okay. And so you stayed in the right lane. Stayed in the right lane. But he went up, to, me he went up to 50. Excuse me. You drove 50? Yes. 50. Are you being serious? I yeah. Well, I was, so what, it's what, it took you seven hours then to get back or something? It took us a long time. We, you realize how slow that is? Yes. Your mother has a crippling fear of the freeway. Yeah. And, you know, that she was like, we were driving around our neighborhoods and and she's like oh i'd love to live in california except that i can't take the freeway for those outside of california uh, substitute highway for freeway yeah. people think that's a i know they're like what is that I'm like, same thing they highway. call it a freeway out here yeah but your mother was like this is an ideal place everything's great everything's perfect but i have mm. to take a freeway i'm like well you, you can get over that she'd rather fear. be retarded right <laughs> It yeah. was me and, and I saw every make and model of car, <laughs> and every I, truck. And I asked him to ask me to forgive him yeah. when we got home. Now, don't you feel that's a little ridiculous? No. That you should you should. I just, have, it's such a... A, a fear of this? I, I cannot describe to you. The, really? Oh, yeah. Tommy, it's horrendous. You're just scared when you Petrified. You're really? Petrified. Wow. So definitely retarded. Well, okay. You're going to be retarded then. Yes, that's fine. Dad, yeah. would you rather... Yeah. Be retarded, <laughs> or you can only eat Asian food so you're not retarded. He it's a Asian good one. Food. How do you define Asian food? <laughs> uh, worlds, like food from China, uh, Cambodia, Vietnam, <laughs> Singapore, yeah. Korea, just, you know, the Asian world. That's a tough one because I, uh, there's some things in Asia that I could eat, like duck, yeah, noodles, right, yeah, shrimp. Chicken. There you go. Sure. So if I could have a selection of the menu, yeah, I, I would do the Asian food. Okay. And if 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 they have to dictate what Asian food it is, if somebody says you have to eat whatever we're going to give you, yeah, I'd go the retarded. Okay. <laughs> really? Really? You'd be mentally retarded. Because I wouldn't want it. No, well, my wife is already retarded, so that's fine. I'm not going to eat dog. Okay, for example. Okay, okay. I'm not eating dog. Nook ma, that's another Vietnamese thing. I'm not going to eat that. Okay. Okay. Uh, there, there's some things that I just would never eat. So, so you would choose. So if I have a choice yeah. of Asian food, yeah. you're like, I'm in you. Yeah, but nobody's going to give you a choice. If that wouldn't, well, that's wouldn't make any the sense. question I asked. Okay, so let's say there's no choice. It's just whatever Asian food is given to you. No, I'd, I'd go retarded. Okay, I could eat that shit. <laughs> No, I'm not eating dogs. I love dogs too much. Okay, okay. <laughs> they I think we got the I dog. Know. It's it's such a, a, they don't really... I mean, in Korea, yes, one time I was there, they said the street meat was dog and yeah. don't eat it, but it's not like... Yeah, he thinks it's on like it's every, on every restaurant. Menu. Yeah, yeah. No. Okay. yeah, that's clear. I mean, it's not like all Asian cultures eat dogs. Yeah. But a he, lot of them do, okay? I mean, it's really prevalent in China only. No, but yeah. parts he wants of China. to choose. He wants just to make a selection of his food. Can you imagine? Yeah. What kind of punishment is that? I got another good one for you, Mom. Be retarded. <laughs> Would you rather sleep in a in a cold, cold room? Ugh, AC is on like sixty five. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but you can you can have all the sweets you want, or you never have any sweets again. But you can sleep in any temperature you like. I get that. I know that's a good one. That's from good, Christina. That's, who thought of that? Christina, that's a good one. she's good at these. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> can you mix it a little bit? Not that extreme. No, that's the extremes are the fun one. That's when it's good. So so I I, I never can eat sweets with Tommy. So you no sweets, you take temperature. I over. will die in the temperature. <laughs> that, no, you just be. You just have to bundle up a lot. And you're cold. So what is I it? invented sweaters minute, and blankets. What is the temperature? The temperature is 65. <laughs> and I can put all the blankets I want? I mean, yeah, you can put blankets on, of course. <laughs> okay, if I can wrap up myself in 50 blankets, then yeah. I, I keep that and give my sweets. Okay, but every time you walk in the room, it's freezing. That's fine, but I, I am going to be prepared to just be in boots and five pairs of socks and a blanket and a jacket and a hoodie and... Now, it's a good one for you. Okay, so we're going... <laughs> yes. Would you rather, Dad, you work in a gay bar as a server, topless, so you wear pants but no shirt, 
and the guys come up to you and they're allowed to sexually harass you. Like they, they pinch your nipples every time they walk by and they <laughs> scratch your chest. Or you're married to Nancy Pelosi for a year. Well, I'll take the gay, gay bar thing. Uh, no problem. Okay. Really? Absolutely. That's how much you can't stand her. Oh, I, I just, you know, don't get me going on that path, okay? The gay, and gays, gay, 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 sir. Respectful. I mean, they're nice, okay? The gays? Yeah. 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 There are. Give me that ball. Come on. Yeah, they yeah. are. Yeah. <laughs> so every time they walk by, <laughs> I could handle that. <laughs> I could handle that. Actually, I think he's excited with it. I, I think not, so, too. I, I don't know if I could it's handle it. a lot of attention. I don't yes, sir. think I could handle the Nancy Pelosi politics <laughs> yes, for a year. For a year? No. What if the ratio is one month of Nancy Pelosi or a year in the gay bar? Oh, I could do one month of Nancy Pelosi. Oh, you could do that? As a wife. <laughs> you have no. to wake up next to her. You have to have breakfast with her. You have to have dinner with her. You don't have to have lunch with her. You have to have sex with her. Look at mom. Your wife. In. I, I, I can't imagine myself having sex. She does have... Here you are. Yes, they can. She's, she does have, she's got a nice set of lungs, okay? Yeah. I've noticed that. Yeah. And she's had multiple facelifts. Yeah, she's had some work done. She's had some work done. Uh, I could probably, I, I, you know, I could try to win, win her over to my arguments, which would be fruitless. Of course. Since I never win any arguments with your mother. Yeah. Uh, which so I don't. You, so you take a month with her. I could probably handle a month with Nancy Pelosi. That's going to cost him his marriage right now. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know who Nancy Pelosi is? Yes. Do you think but that's that? not the point. What? He will take care. He, his answer should be, I wouldn't take any woman other than your mother, no matter uh, what. Uh, no, you're in trouble. The answer it's within the game. Yeah, it's part thing. of the game. Yeah, well, it's in the, the game. game. Well, yeah. Why doesn't he go with the gays? They were so nice, and he loved to be pinching the tits. And the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, one more for you. Okay. Would you rather have four penises on your forehead? Oh, I got the Or ten nipples for fingers. I don't, man. <laughs> no, I cannot pick either one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to. Four penis in my forehead. So little penises are hanging from your forehead. Yeah, that's not a possibility. Four of them. No. All, all, all it is is, is a little, like, so weird. a little penis. I am a woman. I know, but they're just hanging from your forehead. Ay, por Dios. Or what each monster. one of your fingers is a nipple. Every finger. I mean, your five would be really excited. To have ten nipple fingertips? Think about how hard it would be to do everyday things because you don't have fingers, you have nipples. Oh, instead of fingers? Yeah, you have just nipples on your hands. Kind of cute. It's kind of cute? I, I, I keep the nipples. Really? Yeah. Why? Fresh paws? I, the idea. I would do dicks. Dickheads, right? On my forehead, yeah. yeah. I wear a hat like you got on right now and cover them. Well, I don't know if you're allowed to cover them. You didn't stipulate that. I know, but it comes up. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a good point. I think I would just keep four little dicks on my forehead. Uh, yeah, I would do dicks. It would be, it, it'd be funny because I have to use my hands. That's my point. Yeah, the hands are really important. You Forehead, need who cares? You need hands, yeah. right? Yeah. Plus, I just like make a living being like the the dick head girl on Instagram. Yeah, and I get like a million followers. And maybe when you get really angry, they stand up or something. That'd be cool. Yeah. That was like your dicks. of having a face with four <laughs> penis hanging on my forehead. That's not that bad. It's a good conversation starter. Are you out of your mind? Well, people would be like, what's going on there? And you'd I be said like, nothing. I have four pinos. Yeah, on my forehead. <laughs> well, I can do the same thing with my little things. <laughs> and I have the same interesting conversation. Definitely the... The, the nipples. The nipples. Really? Yeah. They're, so, kind, yeah. they're kind of cute. They might what would you choose? Oh, the nipples. Really? Well, sure. How come? The thing is, I see it as the nipples as fingers actually make doing so many tasks almost impossible, whereas the penis on your forehead doesn't keep you from doing anything. It's just aesthetically awkward, right? In other words, you still have your full range of everything you can do with your Wait, hands. Can I wear a hat that covers the nipples? Uh, I cover I, the penis? Hmm, that's a good question. No, I think they have to be out. But they're just aesthetically weird. No, aesthetically monster, not weird. Why would you choose the nipples? I, I think four penises from your forehead is just, it's so incomprehensible that you wouldn't feel like going out in society to begin with. You really wouldn't care what you could do. Okay? Really? No. Oh. Because you think people would be, you'd be that much of an outcast. Can you imagine? I think you Can would be. possible in your mind? I, I think like you, would be, you would make the cover of Outcast magazine. Okay. 
Yeah? Yeah, I do. The, yeah, the right. only good thing is you will have your own TV show. Yeah, that's true. You think they would dis- discriminate against you? Oh, no, they wouldn't discriminate against me. They, they'd, you know, they would. And then, you know, what happens if some of them work and some of them don't? Okay, then you got a real... That's Thank called you. the ups and downs, okay? Those are, <laughs> no, those are... Oh, my God. Yes, they don't do anything. Yeah, but what if some of them go up and some of them... Neither one up? works. Yeah. How do you know that? Because he says there are four little things hanging in there. True. He got so excited about his joke. The ups and the downs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Would they pee, the dicks? Could you pee out of your forehead, dicks? Oh, no, I don't think so. Not in my mind. Could you jerk off your forehead, dicks? I didn't picture. I used to picture them like uh, growths, almost. You know. Yeah. So did I. I didn't picture them as functional penises, yeah. but that's a, that's a whole other level. If now, because I might choose finger nipples if there were dicks that peed and jack ejaculated. <laughs> you know, because yeah. that's way more debilitating. They can have cum in your eyes and pee on yeah, your forehead. That's and, true. Yeah. It's a good point, And what, are there balls, too, I on wish, these dicks? I really wish my parents had thought like you do right now and asked <laughs> about that. What about the balls, though? Seriously. There's no balls. Oh, okay. It's just decoration, so don't get too excited. You don't have five penis. <laughs> Barely one. Bar- do you hear that, Tommy? Yeah. Barely one. Okay. I got some jokes for okay. you. Oh, oh good. Love no. jokes. I love Ready? jokes. Yeah. This is uh, what are you? revisiting the infamous uh, blonde jokes. Oh, my God. I found a new page of them. I think, okay. I think there's one or two repeats, but mostly new. This blew me away. I knew how he would react. I was surprised at her reaction. Really? Yes. I'm excited to hear these. What do you do if a blonde throws a grenade at you? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, Pull the that. pin and throw it back. <laughs> what do you call it when a blonde dyes their hair brunette? I don't know. Artificial intelligence. <laughs> That's a good one. Why did the blonde get fired from the banana plantation? I give up. Because she threw out all the bent ones. <laughs> That's a good one. Can I tell you one? Sure. Okay. 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 He's so excited. They love these stupid jokes. Do you think that my, they're just simple people? Why do they laugh no, like I, this? I know why your mother's laughing, because I'm sure as um, a non-native English speaker, like you can put two and two together and you can understand yeah. those jokes. Yeah, yeah. It's a very elementary, you know, yeah. for a non-native speaker. For your dad, it's just, that's just his jam, dude. He just, he loves stupid people jokes, you know? So this blonde is sitting in a bar in Chicago. I bet you Chicago is immaterial to the joke. What do you he, think? Well, he's told me this joke, and he told it on our show already. Oh, no. It's the same okay. joke. Watching the 5 o'clock news, and a guy sits down next to her. I remember this. And yeah. oh, God. says, looking up the TV, and there's a guy on the ledge of a building getting ready to Check jump. My emails. And the guy says to the woman, I bet you he jumps. Yeah. And the woman says, you're on. I bet you he doesn't. Well, the guy jumped, and the woman says, well, I guess I owe you a drink. And he says, I really can't take your money because I saw it on the 4 o'clock news that he jumped. She says, I saw it too, but I thought he'd change his mind. <laughs> That's pretty funny. You told me that one before. Yeah. yeah. I got another one if you want it. Is it going to be one I've heard before? Well, of course, about the woman in the airplane going to London. Yeah, I mean, you've already told me this at least 25 times. Okay. You have to find a new one. What do you call a smart blonde? I give up. A golden retriever. <laughs> That's actually great. I love that one. I like how he g- I give up. Yeah. He still doesn't get it. You just play it. You go just along say, the ride. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. Not, I don't, I give up. I don't know. He's searching. He's like, oh. Yeah, you don't need to. It's not a guessing game. I think he tries on one of these. Can uh, I tell you a joke about the, the Polish sea captain? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You probably want me to come up with some new jokes eventually. It would be nice. Yeah. I'll work on that. Um, how do you make a blonde laugh on Saturday? I give up. Tell her a joke on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, like right there, you should just go, how? How do you make a joke? Yeah. How? Yeah, play along. I give up. That's actually funny. <laughs> I like that one. You like that one? I like that one. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> I don't think... We need to play that Would You Rather. I think they already decided, and they are retarded. That's what I get from this. <laughs> right. Don't joke. That's, That's funny. Really you know what? That is funny. 
That is funny. Why can't blondes count till 70? I can't think of a reason. Because 69 is a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> your mom really doesn't funny. get it. No. Doesn't. Your mom like doesn't that. get it. I like no. that one. Your she mom has no idea what that. no idea she what 69 went, is. Went, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know what that. Uh, no idea. You got the high number or something? Yeah. yeah. Mm, let's see. I didn't Why did the blonde the stare party. at a frozen orange juice can for two hours? You know, I, I couldn't come up with an answer for that in a million years. <sighs> because it said concentrate. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, my God. Serious. Oh, my God. That's, that's actually funny. That's really funny. <laughs> That's a good one. That is a good one. You both really like these. That would laugh at that joke like that. I don't. I don't know. I, I didn't know I don't people know. I, laughed at these. I could I can't imagine laughing out loud at that. <laughs> I mean, seriously. I didn't think it's there just, were people who thought this shit was really it's funny. It's upsetting to me I know. that somebody would laugh at that out loud. I know. It's an LOL for some people, but some people like dad boner jokes, dude. Like this is just. This is like those silly jokes you would read on the back of a bubblegum wrapper. And at most, it's terrible. worth a smile. Yeah. You go. You kind of smirk at it like, oh, that's clever. That's clever. That's the well, concentrate joke, that's a that's solid a, it's joke. It's a solid joke to laugh out loud that hard at it. <sighs> yeah, it's frustrating. And then you think, doesn't it make you wonder, like, when they come watch you perform, like, what, what are they? Oh, they've they... never laughed this hard. They've never laughed right. this hard <laughs> at anything. <laughs> but what I've are done. they thinking of your act? If they think this shit's hilarious, yeah. Well, they don't laugh at it. They what happens is I've I've learned about him. He gauges all he cares about is audience response. He has no connection to what I'm doing. Oh boy. He just goes, they really like that, or like, wow, you really had him going. So right. he's entertained by the audience being entertained. Right. He doesn't. Uh, yeah, I got it. Wow, wow, it's astounding. And I think it's also very telling that his absolute favorite, favorite, favorite by far <laughs> thing of mine is my most undeveloped, my elementary level stand-up, if you will. Sure. My first thing. Your first your first jokes. My first jokes. A little more, ele- yeah, like you said, trying elementary. Trying to please. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. I'm, I'm basically a, you know, a new comic, mm-hmm. and I'm every night I'm trying to make this stuff work, and it's very kind of laid out, joke, joke. Mm-hmm. He's like, that's, that's my favorite. And yeah. anything past that, he's like, yeah. But you know, on that first one, that's all he ever talks about. Isn't it amazing? Do you think that? Do you think that we'll ever see Ellis uh, who he is? Do you know what I mean? Like, do you think that every every generation supposedly yeah gets better at, at this kind of stuff? Emotions. Feelings, oh right. Acknowledging people. Well, we'll have like, our our faults and our right. Flaws, but of do you course. think that we'll be able to see our child like truly see and hear? I think him much more than we were seeing than our parents yeah. Yeah, could. Is yeah. that amazing? It is. Like you wonder, what do they think of you? Like, what do they think of us? What do they think of anything? It actually, I feel it inside of me when he still brings that up, that first album. Yeah. Like I'm still like. Dude. Because he doesn't appreciate the fact that you've evolved as a comic. Yeah. You're, you're more complex now. Or, and he'll or say, you remember when? Like he'll go, you remember when? On I'm like, dude, <laughs> stop bringing that up. Right. Stop saying that. When that was really funny. Right. He says it like like talking about one of these jokes. <laughs> Right. You said to that guy, yeah, you're really good at that. I'm like, okay, anyways. Yeah, it just never changes. <sighs> and, it, and the other thing is that it's repeated. In other words, he'll point the same thing out to me a hundred times about that. Yeah. Uh, like next week he might go, where are you going? Oh, I'm going to uh, Tucson. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah. Remember on that uh, Minnesota thing he did where you said to the guy, what's your name? Like yeah, you keep telling me that. You keep saying that to me. He's just, but he's living his own moments over and over. You know, like he's only in his reality. Like he can't. That's what I'm saying. He can't even see what's happening and changing. It's so fun. It's so fascinating. Humans are so fascinating to me. Yeah. What? Yeah. I love it. That was the best one. Surprise! Why do blondes have TGIF on their shoes? I don't TGIF. Know. I don't yeah. even know what it's like. They write TGIF, TGIF on their shoes. Toes go in first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love blonde jokes. What's the difference between a blonde 
and a mosquito? Uh, I have no idea. A mosquito stops sucking when you smack it. <laughs> Your mom doesn't know what that means. Mm-mm. No clue. None. Oh, these are ones I haven't heard. I like all these. Yeah, I, I can see the joy in your face. Oh, this is this is really this has been a great trip coming out here. <laughs> <laughs> I just highlight of the highlight of the trip. Actually. I know. I've never seen somebody enjoy street jokes as much as you. He loves them. I know it's crazy. What kind of jokes? Blonde jokes? Street jokes? These oh yeah, street jokes. Yeah, yeah, I do. He loves them. Yeah. And then once he learned them, he repeat them and repeat them and repeat them. He knows uh, that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Another one. Another one. Um, you know, I'm offended by that. Why way. does a blonde wear a tight skirt? I don't know. To keep her legs closed. <laughs> she got that Did one. Did you hear about the two blondes? They're driving down I-75. Oh, my God. He told me that one mm. a hundred times. What's what? the punchline? I'll just let He's going to say it anyways. I'm offended. There's a very blonde phobic. Yeah. How offended are you? Very deeply. I wish you guys would respect my hair color. Yeah. Could you, are you so gonna, offended. Are you thinking about filing suit? I'd like to. Oh, how about blogging? I'd like to or vlog blogging. my feelings. I like yeah. to tweet about it. I like to demand that your dad get fired from his job for yeah. laughing at these offensive jokes. I'm very offended, you That's guys. It's very progressive of how you. How dare you? How dare you not agree with me and my point of view and, and uh, very stereotype us blondes like yeah. that? Yeah. How dare you? And they saw a sign that said, clean restrooms ahead. By the time they got to Miami, they cleaned 150. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love how you don't uh, laugh. Yeah, I know. Of course not. <laughs> um, what is it called when a blonde blows like breaking in another blonde's <laughs> ear? I, I give up. Wind tunnel. I'm not supposed to say that. I know. I don't know. See how he goes, I'm not supposed to say that. I know. I don't know. But so why would that be a joke? What's it called when a blonde blows another blonde's ear? Wind tunnel. Yep, that's the punchline. <laughs> Thank you. Right. You don't ask for the punch. Well, also, where's the punchline there? Yeah. Yeah. It's ang- see, now it's angering me because yeah, I see course. it from your point. Like, I keep picturing my dad. If this were my dad, I'd be, inf- I'd be infuriated, too. Because, like, you're, you're a comedian. Data transfer. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I love these jokes. I know you really do. (laughs) Why is it good to have a blonde passenger in your car? I have no idea. You can park in the handicap zone. (laughs) Your mom doesn't get it. I think she got that one. I haven't heard these blonde jokes before. I I know. I Google them sometimes. These are all good stuff. What are the worst six years in a blonde's life? I don't know. Third grade. <laughs> oh my god! I'm exhausted. Oh, I'm tired. He's never laughed at anything. No. Any comedian like never no. Laughed at it, oh, Jay Leno. Funny. He likes no. Jay Leno. Like Why this. should blondes not be given coffee breaks? I give up. It takes too long to retrain them. <laughs> that's, that's a little funny. I like that one. All right. You're like yeah, that's a good joke. That's really funny. You're you, making your five snakes. Oh I can't believe God. this. Oh, I love, love this kind of stuff. Go on forever. I know. The reaction's so big. How do you get a blonde to marry you? I don't know. And tell her she's pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right. I think that's enough, right? That's enough. That's a good amount. Wow. Tony, I, I want to tell you about Those this. Those were good jokes. I want to tell you about this yeah. trip, yeah? Yeah. Because it has been the best trip we have done. We had a, a lot of fun with you guys. Uh, no, you guys went overboard in love, generosity, kindness. I, it was a Can joy I tell you my favorite of part everything. Of the visit is when we went to get coffee with them at the country club. Yeah. And then um, we got... For the people that don't know, the country club means the mall. Our mall, yeah. yeah. Um, and then your mom went into lengthy detail about her urethra opening surgery. <laughs> That was terrible. Last time it was uh, <laughs> malpract- medical malpractice suits and deaths. Randomly, they would just drop them on you. This time it was, she had 20 years, 30 years, 40 years ago, she was like She's peeing pregnant. a lot. And then they were like, we're just going to open your urethra more. And the doctor scheduled it without examining I don't want to hear the story. It's like, yeah. it's such a gross, long uh, story. You know, my thing that was funny God. was, uh, see, to me it's very normal. <laughs> 
that somebody does what she's doing now, which is tell you their feelings about how much they appreciate. I them, hate it and you're so like, much. So uncomfortable. I hate it. She texted us last night. Like I want. I could. I can't even repeat the text back to you because I couldn't read it. Yeah. Whenever somebody um, expresses their feelings to me, yeah, I get so uncomfortable. It's just not. In my family, if you if you express your feelings, it's a yeah. sign of weakness and you will be ridiculed. It's so funny to me. So nobody I would say, it. like, thanks for taking care of us. It was a blast. <laughs> Are you See, crazy? In Latin culture, it's no. about overselling that. Right. You don't just go, thanks for showing me a good time. You have to go into the detail oh, about, no. you know, all, like, you no. remember the things and, like, how that made you feel. And <laughs> No. In yeah. our house, it's, thank you, okay? Thanks. Okay, I gotta go. Like you don't, yeah. you just say thank you once, and then that's it. Or maybe you send a card so that you don't yeah. have to actually say it. Yeah. But for me, the expression of her feelings, like when she said goodbye to me last night, and she yeah. was telling me all this stuff, like I couldn't, I, mean, I couldn't get away fast. So enough. So far, I, I can't get away fast enough. Last night when they left, oh my god, I, I hate got a it. big speech about th- their <sighs> gratitude. Yeah. About what a great trip. Yeah. Then they both called from the hotel. Hmm. Like an hour later to say it again. Oh boy. Then a text. Then I woke up to a new text message and then they called me again this morning. <laughs> in addition to saying happen. it to like, yeah, it's just That would never happen in my family. Never. But never. the thing is, if somebody doesn't say that, it's supposed to mean that they really didn't have a, a good, good time. time. Yeah. So in your family, if they don't go over the bo- overboard, it means it was just like an okay trip. It just, it just was whatever. like Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's a lot. It's a lot of pressure. Same thing about food. Like if yes, if they try it and they go and you go, how is it? And somebody goes, it's good. It's that means good. this isn't good. Yeah. Because if it's really good, yeah, you would go on and on. You know, I really, really like, like they did about the restaurant. Remember how many times they talked about they the love restaurant? It. So your dad didn't like the dinner I made last night. He did it. like it. He did like it. Mm. He didn't go go overboard, overboard but he did like it because he talked about it. Um, okay. Even when we were watching. Well, he TV. ate it. That's all I care about. Yeah, he, ate, he it. ate it. He must have been hungry. Yeah. Oh, it's good. It's not his favorite though. He likes like steak. I made shrimp. That's yeah, what, shrimp know. pasta. That was good. I liked it a lot. I liked it. It's one of our favorites. But yeah, the feelings I can't. I don't like it. Like I, I like doing nice things for people, but I don't like to hear the thank you. It's I don't like. It can it. be a bit much. Yeah, it makes me very uncomfortable. Very. Every second. Yeah. I, I absolutely can't find words to thank you for these moments. See. And Ellis is the 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 only the only sadness oh, I have. Cute. That I cannot make him yeah. love me. Yeah. I want him to kiss me, to hug me, to, you know. Well, it just takes time, though. Yeah, but I was here for six days. So I know that. The, yeah. What I really enjoyed was all the kisses I got but from But you me. guys went overboard. Tommy. Yeah. yeah. All the kisses and hugs and love I got from Ellis was really, really nice. So that's his nice. version of being like, the, I'm the water champ. See, he was trying yeah. to jab her with it. It's so same interesting thing. that you and I repeat the same patterns that your parents. Yeah. He's saying like, oh, Ellis gave me a lot of hugs and kisses. Oh, my God. It's so funny. Last time you were here, we talked about <laughs> how there's a whole segment of the of the population that's non-binary. Do you remember that? <laughs> that is not what? Non-binary? I think we should non-binary. revisit this later. Later. Lot, Let's take yeah. a break. Yeah. yeah. Let's take a break. I, I love it, though. I love listening to them. I laughed at them all week. They were here. Yeah, it was fun. I think they're so funny. Uh, Vincent Donofrio. Vincent. Man, shit like that. Donofrio. <laughs> Good guy. Um, yeah, this is uh, here. Let me do this. This is something that maybe will cleanse the palate, and then we can um, wrap up the show. Okay. Fuck my triple D slut wife. There you go. Remember that? Of course. Yeah, I forgot that. <laughs> Decided to get the old trumpet out today. Oh Let's boy. This guy mm-hmm. can play the trumpet. Like you wouldn't believe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's farting into his trumpet. That's wow. Incredible. Hold on. Have we found the new King Ass Ripper? I don't know, but this guy, I mean, he's got a cool wig. Can I, t- can I tell you something? Yeah. When I, f- I know when you discover something big on your mom's house, you feel it. Yeah. Like when we discovered King Ass Ripper, that was a big find. There's been a few of those. Yeah. This feels special. It does. I mean, I like that he's wearing a lab coat and a wig. I, he needs to get rid of it. To me, he doesn't need those theatrics. Oh, I think it dresses it up. I ah. think it becomes more of a performance because he's he's just Ted 
you know, when he's when he's wearing his regular clothes. And now he's this butt trumpet master. Doctor Doctor Trumpet or whatever. Yeah, that's pretty neat. <laughs> look how concentrated. He is. Look how look at his focus. Wow. <laughs> the focus, yeah. yeah. You really got to put that up on there tight. Yeah, because even just to do your mouth, it's yeah. very hard to blow a trumpet, actually. Yeah, that's really talented. That's a real talent, this guy. Um, I hope there right. are more. I hope we get to see more from Dr. Butt Trumpet. Dr. Butt Trumpet. All right. Um, wow, what a talent. That's it, Gene. <laughs> um, anything else? No. I. Oh, uh, no, no. We've already done our dates. Yeah. So that's that's in the past. There you go. Thank you guys for listening. <laughs> and, I love uh, you, Gene. I love you. Jean C. Jean. Uh, we'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye, mommies. This is, in fact, the very place where the Trans Canada paved its last section. Woo-hoo! Oh, yeah.